title of the first section is solving multi-step inequalities first problem is 4d plus 7 less than or equal to 23. And again, we want to solve for the variable, get d by itself. To get d by itself, we want to first get rid of the positive 7. Get rid of a adding 7, we can subtract 7 on both sides. 4d would come down. The 7s would cancel. The inequality would stay the same. If you add or subtract a number, it does not switch. And 23 minus 7 would be 16. Second step to solve. 4 times d. To get rid of the 4, we can divide by 4. The 4 would cancel. The inequality again does not switch. If we divide by a positive number, it only switches if you divide by a negative number. And 16 divided by 4 would be 4. Since the instructions are just to solve, we do not have to graph this inequality. So the answer to the question would be D is less than or equal to 4. Second question and last question for the section. We have 5 is less than or equal to 11 plus 3h. Again, we want to solve, by, solve for h. So the first step would be to get rid of this positive 11. To do that, we can subtract 11 on both sides. 5 minus 11 would be negative 6. With different signs, we'll subtract the numbers. 11 is bigger, so we'll keep the negative sign on it. Inequality would stay the same since we're just subtracting a number. And 3h would come down. The 11s would cancel. And last step, 3 times h. To get rid of the 3, we can divide by 3. Negative 6 divided by 3 would be negative 2. And we're dividing by a positive 3. Again, dividing by a positive number does not change the inequality. It's only when you divide by a negative number. 3's would cancel, and h would come down. Final answer to the question, we'll have negative 2 less than or equal to h. Next section of notes is titled More Multi Step Inequalities. First problem is negative 3x minus 4 less than or equal to 14. We want to get x by itself. The first step would be to get rid of the minus 4, which we can do so by adding 4 on both sides. Negative 3x would come down. The 4s would cancel. Less than or equal to 14 plus 4 would be 18. The inequality again does not switch if you add or subtract a number. Last step negative 3 times x. To get rid of a negative 3 that we're multiplying, you can divide by negative 3. 
So the negative 3's would cancel. X would come down. And remember, any time you divide by a negative number, the inequality would switch around. 18 divided by negative 3 would be negative 6. Again, the instructions do not say the graph, so we do not have to graph this inequality. The answer would be x is greater than or equal to negative 6. Last question for this section. Negative 4x minus 2 less than 8. First step to get x by itself will be get rid of the minus 2, which we can add 2 to both sides. Negative 4x will come down. And again, if you add or subtract a number, the inequality would stay the same. 8 plus 2 would be 10. And the last step, we have negative 4 times x. To get rid of multiplying by negative 4, we can divide by negative 4. The negative 4's will cancel. x will come down. And again, if you divide by a negative number, the inequality would switch around. Negative 4 does not go into 10, but we can reduce this fraction. Each number we can divide by 2. 10 divided by 2 would be 5. And negative 4 divided by 2 would be negative 2. So our final answer, x is greater than negative 5 over 2.